Welcome back to the 74th Oscars ceremony. Good to see you. I'm Richard Bacon. And I am Amanda Byron. Thank you. Well, now it's a big moment. We come to the category for best breakfast programme to be ruthlessly axed from the schedules at the end of this week. Oh. Oh. And the nominations are... ITV's Dull People on a Sofa. Uh, BBC's News Snooze, News Snooze. Channel 5's A Cheap American Import. Channel 4's The Big Breakfast. And the winner is... No, Mike is live in LA. He's at the Oscars. He has just watched the Mike. Hello. Th thank you, Amanda. Well, earlier on, I chatted to my old friend uh, in the world of show business, Rennie Zellweger, and this is what she had to say. No, no, the big breakfast. The big breakfast. How are you? Great to see you. I've not seen you for ages. I know. Oh, you got it. Wait, there's two. Yeah, no, I'm It's a long time. Have you still got the bunny ears that I gave you? She stole those away. I think he's wearing them tonight. Has he been through? It's better than that haircut he's got. Yeah, you think? Oh, no, I think you can do no wrong. Listen, you didn't win tonight. No. Oh, yes, I did. Thank you very much. My dress fits. It's lovely. No, that was all the success I needed. Is it River Island? Where's it from? Where's it from? Carolina Herrera made this for me. Very, tonight. very nice. If you want to cram my shoulder, that's fine by me. About? Oh no, honey, I'm so happy. Everything Are you right happened happy tonight. tonight. Everything right happened tonight. So many of my friends walked away with those statuettes, and Miss Halle Berry, phenomenal job, and such a beautiful, moving acceptance speech. What a moment! For it, her. it did knock on a bit. Glad to be there. It did go on a bit, though, didn't it? Oh, stop! You jaded. I'm being honest. You jaded. If it had gone on one more minute, though, my mascara would have been all gone. Was you crying? Oh, come on. It was so wonderful, wonderful moment to witness. Well, this is always nice chatting to you. You too. You are my favourite actress. Well, now, I'm coming back. Can I go back around and do this again? Of course you can. The next time it's better. The second time I mean it's better. The first time I'm a bit slow. The second time I really get to the point. All right. I'm on my way. All right. <laughs> oh, there he is. Mike McLean, well done. Well, really, is that a word? Thank you. Uh, a little bit later on, I'll be chatting to uh, Cameron Diaz. So, viewers, make sure you see that. It's going to be exciting. Uh, but now I'm going to chat to some more big stars as they arrive here at the Vanity Fair. It's the hottest ticket in town, believe it or not. Some people are actually bribing people with $30,000 and also private jets. Uh, I've managed to manage myself, get myself in here tonight. Um, but basically, you can't get in unless you've got one of these passes. And there they are there. And they're worth a lot, a lot of money. And get this, you won't believe this, but Richard Amanda, my makeup artist has done makeup for Sylvester Stallone, uh, Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, Mick Jagger. She couldn't do much with him. Uh, and she, said that I was actually the, she said that I'm actually the best looking that she's uh, worked with. So I'm very, very excited about that. So. Uh, and we've got we're Lisa, going now we're going live. How are you? <laughs> we're live on the big breakfast. Oh, okay, hi. You see, you've got to be on the ball. I mean, this is what this is all about. Okay, I'm trying. Uh, you've got to be on the ball. I don't want to join. Have you had a nice night tonight? I did. It was a very nice night. And where did you watch the show? Uh, at the Oscars. Okay. Now, this is the biggest uh, party in town, isn't it? Yes, it is. And did you get a goodie bag? Did I get a goodie bag? I got a very nice presenter's basket. Did you? What did you get in it? I got a mattress. You got a mattress in a bag. I got a lazy boy. Is he the lazy boy? No. Are you the lazy boy? Sometimes, yeah. Is that what you got? Did you get him? <laughs> no. I got him for life. Oh, okay. And I believe this is your good fellow, your husband. Yes, and uh, do you have a nice night tonight? I had an okay night. You yeah. know, Robert Altman didn't win. Gosford Park didn't win. So yeah. it's a little bit of a bummer, but it was fun. This theater was beautiful, and there were some great moments. So. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Big Breakfast. Yes, I'm live here in Los Angeles, and just over there, the man himself, Mr. Shaft, is uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I'm going to try and get him live. There he is. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, we're live on the Big Breakfast. He's just chatting to the tonight, the Jay Leno show. 
and he's just told him to get his hand off him. I'm not going to make the same mistake uh, as last year as one of my predecessors made with a certain actress, but he is live there, just over there. So we're hopefully going to try and have a little chat to him uh, if that other guy shuts his gun. Mr. Jackson, we're live, we're live on the Big Breakfast. There he is there. Trust me, viewers, the, the, these guys next to me are asking them boring questions. He's only just waiting for to get into me, and that's when the real questions hit him. We're actually live now. This is, there's a real big buzz around the town. And what happens is when all the stars finish the ceremony, they all come here and go in Vanity Fair and have a great time. They also get themselves a goodie bag, like I say. Well, it's not a goodie bag that's got loads of vouchers in it for plane tickets and mattresses and chairs. In fact, this is the hottest ticket in town. And for the last time, the big breakfast are going to be right here. And I'm going to be bringing you the chat with the stars. Hopefully, uh, she'll shut a gob up in a minute and uh, maybe I can just have a little chat because, you know, I'm far more important and far more interesting. Samuel, Mr. Jackson. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. <laughs> See what I mean? See, see what I mean? I'm trying to show him up. I've got his attention, viewers. Um, he may be big and he may be shaft. Oh, Mike, 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 it's Richard here. Can you hear me? Mike? There he is. There he is, Richard. Okay. Mr. Nah. Oh, I'm not okay, your turn. Oh, no, he's he's, he's going to blank me out now. Go on, Richard, what were you saying? Listen, Mike, I'm sure I'll come to you next. And I'm not right in thinking, there's a good look uh, with Samuel, but is it also true that you are positioned right next door to GMTV? Listen to this, Richard, I've got some go hot gossip. The cameraman of GMTV and another crew from America literally nearly had a fight over their positioning. Uh, and if it wasn't for the fact that Jackie Bramwell had this really horrible dress on, uh, it would have uh, got messy. She's just behind me out the back. Have a little look, Richard, there she is. I think, okay. Richard, if you look closely, a dress, a dress is from Topshop, and if I'm not wrong, it retails at £29.95. Trust me, Richard, Mike, I think Mike, she's Mike, go and tell her now that she looks disgusting. I can't, I can't do that, Richard. I'm trying to get Samuel Jackson. I can't do that. It's all right for you, honey. All right. Here we go. There is uh, Richard Hangar. OK, well, the tension is extraordinary. Mr. Jackson, we're live on air in Britain, the big breakfast, and I know you're a big fan of the show. Not necessarily anymore now that you've been like, like in my ass all night like this. What? Not literally, yeah. please don't swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, how are you, sir? I'm fine. And it's, I've got some bad news because I know you're a big fan of the show. It's finishing this Friday. Oh, this is the last show? Ever. The last big breakfast ever? Yeah. Well, after you got rid of my boy, you know, the show wasn't that good anyway. Do you not think so? Yeah, well. Yeah. It's, it's better now. Listen. It was about him. Okay, listen. A great evening. Denzel Washington went in as well. Okay. Is that what you're going to say? And, and Halle Berry. And, and Halle Berry. And Sidney Poitier gets the Lifetime Achievement Award. And Akiba Gold. Yeah, and Robert Redford. And Ron Howard. Who was your favorite? My favorite what? Winner tonight? Yeah, yeah. Sidney Poitier. Why? Because Sidney's, like, been there for us all the time. Sidney was the model, the role model for us. He was the guy to aspire to be. And he's my good friend. We play golf together. Well, listen, thank you very much today. I'm sorry for being in your backside, as you put it. No problem. And I promise I won't ever do it again. I know. But it was a pleasure being in there. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Samuel Jackson. There you go, Richard. I got him. Uh, now I'll let him have to uh, Jackie Brambles. Won't be as good a chat. OK, Mikey, well handled. Mike McLean, hey, you know. I thought that was terrific. Listen, Mark, we'll talk to you later and hopefully we'll hear from Jackie Brambles, which would be a highlight of my morning. Thank you. Mike McLean. OK, also... Uh, yes, Richard, I'm just, just, uh, just there to my left is uh, Mr P. Daddy, or Puff Daddy, as he's usually called. Yeah. Mr Sean Hughes, you're live on The Big Breakfast in England. What's up, what's up? The how, Big Breakfast, what's going on? How, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. I'm doing marvellous. Uh, can I just say it was a great night this night? Yes, a great night. Um, Halle Berry, Sydney Poitier, um, Denzel Washington. And you work with Halle Berry? Yes. Was she good fun? Yeah, yeah. She's and good. can I just say you look immaculate this oh, evening? Thank you. And thank the you earrings are really nice. Are they HM Samuels? The they earrings? No, no. Nah. They really are lovely. <laughs> nah, it's yeah, all good. Yeah, I feel you. What's happening next for you? What, what are you going to be in next? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. We have more movies coming and more music. What about singing wise? Are you going to be singing anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a new album about to come out. Yeah? Yeah. Is there any chance that you can send me one free of charge? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I send you some. Okay, well, listen. It's, it's been a pleasure chatting to you. Cool. Can I just say though, I did prefer the name Puff Daddy. It's, okay. It's a lot better. Cool. I mean, take it from me. I know things about names. Cool. Go back to it. You'll get All a lot right. more work. All right, cool. Thank you. And the Hi, earrings Sean. are lovely. Yeah. Very nice. There you go, Richard. That was um, Puff Daddy. And just behind me, I don't know if you saw that, was Jennifer Lopez. So I felt a little bit of a friction there. 
Back to you, Rich. Thank you, Mike. And Mark is right. Finger. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, we're going to have a look. Uh, we're going to... Oh, hang on oh, a minute. Luke Goss. Luke Goss from Gross. OK. Uh, all right, I think Mike is there. Let's go live to LA. Mike, uh, how's it going, mate? Richard, you'll never believe who I've got here. Now, look at him. He's got no hair. Well, last time I saw his blonde. Listen, when will I, when will I be famous? You waited 15 years and now you're famous. You've got your film coming out, Play 2. Out uh, this weekend we opened pretty big, I think. And is it, can you just tell everybody how I went to your party the other night? He was there hanging, rubbing shoulders. He wasn't interested in me, he was with Wesley Snipes and uh, we opened big at the Men's Chinese Theatre in Hollywood. So he was living large. He's famous, much more famous than I am. Listen, it's, um, things are going well for you. We chatted the other night, but things are going well for you now, Yeah, really, yeah. This is my second film with Wesley. Our prediction is number one this weekend, which is uh, to be in the number one film in America right now is a bit of a buzz, you know. It's good. <laughs> and, 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 the, and the pop thing is well behind you now, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't done it for nine years. The viewers now, will be you know. pleased. Yeah, no, You're yeah, not going to be singing worry. anymore, are you? No, I, I can't speak for anyone else I'm related <laughs> to, but for me, I, I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to be sticking to movies. And I think my brother may be, and his stuff is cool. But is it? Yeah, yeah. Is your brother, brother a little bit envious of you at the moment? No, he's doing good. Is he, he well, he's pleased he does, with you? He does what he does, I do what I do, and... Uh, I'm just pinching myself every day. Listen, tell oh. everybody at home whose house you're renting. Jim Morrison's. Jim Morrison's Yeah, yeah. House. I stay in his place right now. I wish I owned it. I don't own it. Is it a bit spooky? Uh, only when he tries to get in the bathroom at the same time, because then he's like, kind of gets a bit kind of territorial. There's nothing the worse, is there? And, I you're, that. and you're living over here now as well. Yeah, I may come back soon to do some stuff to promote Blade 2, which comes out Friday. Well, listen. So I'm giving that a plug right now. It comes out Friday. Go and see Blade 2. Good luck. Well, listen, it, people won't recognise you because you've got this great makeup on. How long does it take to put that on? Three and a half hours a day. A day. Four contact lenses, teeth. You get a space today. I look, I don't, you look much cuter than I do, I swear to you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he does. Well, yeah. listen, Luke, thank you very much. I wish you all friends. the best for the career. Yeah. You're, you're, you know, this is you fun tonight, huh? It is fun. I would know. I've not been invited. <laughs> you get yourself up in there, son. Look this. Take it easier, all the best. There you go, Luke Goss. Remember him? He's here in LA. All the stars are with me, Richard. Okay, mate, I can see that. And I'll tell you something, because I've been on this show a few years, and like I said, I've seen Mel Sykes and Donna Air out there. And I'll tell you what, you are topping them like tenfold. Yes. You are talking to a lot of people. When Donna was doing it, they were just sort of walking oh past. Oh, my God. Julie anyway. Roberts told her to get off her, didn't she? Did she? <laughs> she went like that, she went, get off me! OK, so, uh, Mike, all systems go for you. Later on in the show, Squeaky. Mike. Well, Richard, Chris Tucker is again to my left. He's chatting to some guy from The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. There he is there. Uh, apparently, this guy's quite popular here. Um, behind me is Daryl Hannah. I didn't actually chat to her because this lady here, she was going live. Did you go live with Daryl Hannah? I sure did. Okay, well, don't ever do that again because I'll, you know, it was your camera and I'm going to fight before. But oh, wait, are we going to fight no, too? But, but, but look, she's from the show called, and the, uh, what is it called? An evening at the Academy Awards. Okay. We are live across the country in the U.S., so, USA. Okay, well, and, and she nicked Daryl Hannah off me. I'm going to let her off this time. But other than that, next time there'll be a rumble in the jumble, if you know what I mean. But just up there is Chris Tucker. I'm going to try and get him, if we can hold, hopefully go live with him. But he's just chatting to a channel called GMA. I wonder where they got that name from. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, Mikey, Mikey, it's Richard here. I know obviously this is obviously a difficult bit for you as a presenter. You've got to fill a bit of time until Chris Tucker gets there. Any morning he was on Jackie, Jackie Brambles from GMTV, uh, have you talked well, to her, told her how horrible her dress is yet? Not really, Richard. She's just chatting to uh, Luke Goss. She's taking my has-beens, uh, if you look behind me, she's chatting to him there. And she's sort of taking my cast-offs, which is fair enough, you know. Uh, an interviewing technique's pretty poor, Richard. It's sort of the basic, boring questions, really. I think she needs to get in there with some cheeky ones. Mike, Mike I, I, I have to walk. say, Mike, I've got to say, I mean, you say her interview technique, you know, is a bit basic. I would have to disagree with that. I think she is a model of professionalism. I mean, you know, yes, I know that she can be a little bit sycophantic with the stars, but she is a trained journalist. She did three years at Falmouth on a broadcast journalism <laughs> degree. So, to be but fair... Richard, Go on. R Richard, I've done, you know, five pantomimes at Christmas and worked with some big stars. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? OK. Mike, Mikey, Mikey, someone seems to be taking a picture of the back of your head, which is nice. Um, but well, you... you know, there's Chris Tucker now. OK, good Chris luck. Tucker. We're live on the big... Get in, Mikey, go on! We're live on the Big Breakfast now, so please we're don't say Yeah, we're live right now. What's up, London? Let's sort this out right now. <laughs> oh, that is... I love you. I um, love you. Um, I wish I was there. How are you, sir? I'm good, good. Where did you watch the show tonight? I was at my house watching it. Where did you live? I live all the way out in the valley. In the valley? In the valley. 
And he picked up a good signal, though. And a good, great signal. Great. Because, <laughs> see, I, like, I don't like to be disturbed. You That's know? good. And then, you know, in the war shows, they, you know, they're kind of long. So I like to be at the house. And if some something, you know, I don't want to be disturbed. Right. I like to listen to the speeches. Did you hear Sidney's Poitier speech? I did, I did, sir, I did. I wrote that speech for Sidney. <laughs> that is a a lot of people, yeah, I wrote that. I wrote, I co-wrote that did with you, Sidney. Uh, there's a rumor going around that you wrote the uh, Halle Belly crying as well. Oh. No, I, I did write it, but I, she was doing, you know. She did too much. She did too much. I said, Holly, cry, but stop. Yeah. Let, let people hear your speech. Yeah, she's... Alec cried and couldn't stop crying. I said, you overacted. I boiled two eggs. <laughs> I came back and still had time to do the bacon. Listen, the, the award show moves tonight was good. Any highlights? I mean, it, for, me, for me, it does get a little bit boring. The highlight was the Circus Delay. Circus Delay. Could Cirque, you do any I better? love that show. I did, I, I could do a flip. Could you? I could do one flip. I love that show. I seen it down in Orlando. That was a great show. Uh, and then uh, the, the speech from Sidney Poitier was just, it was just, just history. It was, it was heartfelt. And um, uh, Robert Redford gave a great speech. He had a great, great history. It's, it's, the show was amazing. Listen, are you aware? I've got some bad news for you. This may come as a big shock to you now. But this Friday is the last big breakfast in Britain ever. The last big breakfast? Yeah. Somebody, somebody, uh, somebody slightly you know, has decided to take it off air. Have you got a message for the viewers? Okay. Would you Listen, like to address the viewers? I don't understand this crisis that's going on, but if you take, if Big Breakfast is not on the air, then, then what is this world coming to? That's all I got to say. Okay. What is this world coming to? Thank you very much. Listen, um, I think you should have got an Oscar for uh, Rush Hour because I'm a massive fan. A massive fan. Is it going to be one, a number three? I think so. Oh. I think so. Oh, come here. Thank you, man. Don't come here. <laughs> Listen, take it easy. And I like the welding glasses. They're nice. Well, there you go, Richard. There's news is that it could be a rush hour three, and uh, it's all happening here. Do you want to understand? Thank Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. How are you? How are you? I'm going we good. We can't keep you away, can we? Oh, no, you can't. Even when I'm in America, i got to talk to y'all. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Look, I see the friend. Listen, I've got some bad news, girlfriend. What? What happened? This Friday is the last Big Breakfast ever. Why? Somebody's is it because I sang live so loud? No, it's not that. Because <laughs> in the bed? No, no. You can, listen, even though the show's ending, you feel free to knock me up in the morning and come sing live on my bed anytime you want. <laughs> I mean that, seriously. Seriously, I've got neighbours, she's deaf, well, so you right can sing on, as loud as you like. you know, I don't get much bed bedtime these days. Really? So so you bragging or complaining? Uh, anything. That's good. Yeah, either one, I'll take. Where, where did you watch it tonight? I actually went over to Elton John's uh, Gorgeous H Foundation uh, party, and we ate dinner and had a good time at the Vanity Bar. Here, we're and just having a good time. Okay. What's good? What are you wearing today? What are you wearing today? Obviously, An Anastasia the, special. They, well, they... <laughs> Once again, making my clothes. You know, same no, old, same No, they're old. great. They really are great. Thank and you. it's nice Thank that you. You know, I've dressed up this evening. Le Leisure is my designer and stylist is uh, is Brooke. All right. So, I mean, I just I just keep it keep it the right, same exact people that keep on doing the same Well, listen, thing. thank you very much. Listen, can you sing us into the break? We're going to go live now to a break. So, do you want to sing us into the break? Sing what? Um, you're watching Channel 4. This is a big breakfast. I'll see you after the break. You're watching Channel 4. This is the sing big... It. No, you got to sing oh, it. Oh, sing it? Yeah, sing it. Oh, my God. Go You're watching Channel 4. This is the big breakfast. See you in a minute. <laughs> You've got a few more Anastasia <laughs> and Benjamin. Let's go Mike with Mike McLean. Mike, what's happening? Well, Richardham's here at Vanity Fair. It's the hottest place in Los Angeles. And only just a little while ago. Well, big star, can I just show you, Sean, go over there. All the big stars are arriving as we speak, Richard. And earlier on, one of the biggest stars in the world took time out to chat to me. And this is Squeaky McLean and the one and only Mr. Paul McCartney. <laughs> Mr. McCartney, big breakfast. Hey, big breakfast. How are you, sir? All right, man. A pleasure Great. to meet you. Lovely, nice That's to see perfect. you. You sang, you sang tonight for the first time. Are you nervous? Uh, not too bad, no, it wasn't really. Um, I thought I might be more nervous, you know, when you hear people saying in front of a billion people. You put that out of your head. Of course it is, it's a piece of cake, isn't it? You do, it's just a theatre, and I'm going on Liverpool. tour, you see, so uh, it's not a time to be shy. I believe your tour sold out very, very quick. You're not Liverpool, are you? From Manchester. Manchester, never I'm mind, as long as you've got your health, I always I've say. got my health. Good. Listen, J-Lo uh, wanted to meet you tonight, and she's in there now. Yeah? 
Who is? J Lo. Yeah, well, I you saw her already. earlier. Yeah. You met her? I met her earlier, yeah. Well, she wanted to meet you. She's a big fine lady. Yours. Good lady. She is yeah. a fine lady. Would you betray her in? No, are you kidding? More than my life's worth, well, man. Well, listen, have a nice kidding. night. Oh, you too. Take, Take it easy. It. Hey, see ya. Oh, there you go, me and Mr. Paul McCartney. Just behind me, Mr. Ben Kingsley and Mr. Sidney Poitier. Uh, I think one of a Lifetime Achievement Award, I'm not so sure. He's actually there, he is there. He's holding his Oscar. Richard, I picked one up before and they're very, very heavy. That's that annoying thing there who's on the Jay Leno show. And a little bit later on, I'll be honest with you, viewers, I'm going to knock him out because he's getting on my nerves. Everybody's coming forward uh, and getting, he's getting them before me and it's just not on. But hopefully, here he is. We're just going to hopefully have a chat with him now. Uh, going live. He's okay. just chatting to the well, early show screen. and then we're okay. going live to him. Yes, Richard. Okay, yeah, Mikey, he's, he's on his way to you. This will be a great there coup is. for you, I think. Oh, we're on, we're on. Uh, Mr. Poche, The Big live. Breakfast, live. We're live to England now, sir. So. Can I just say, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, thank you very much indeed. You, you are such a gentleman, aren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. You are. You ask my children and they'll say, what? Are you kidding? You're talking about the same guy I know? It, it was a big night for you. Everybody was talking about Sydney it's Potty. A, it was a big night for more than myself. It was yeah. a big night for the industry. It was a big night for a couple of very fine actors. And uh, it was a big night for America. Was there any favourites that you thought, yes, I'm so pleased that he's won? Or that Pardon me? Won? Was there any favourites that you think, yeah, I'm pleased that they won? I am pleased that all the winners won. You were, can I just say, can I just hold, can I just show everybody live in England? That's can what can I hold it? Is that possible? Pardon me? Can I hold it and just show everybody in England? Look at that. That I'll hold it. is Sydney Poitier's Oscar. Yes, it is. It is. There's the name. Well, listen, sir, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you. Have a nice evening. You too. Well, Richard, there you go. I promised you all the stars. And trust me, viewers, there's more to come. But for now, it's back to the Big Breakfast house. And I think it's Big Breakfast Gold if I'm right, Richard. Have a watch. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the show. It's uh, Tuesday here. Hello, good morning. Big breakfast, as always. Uh, now it's a very sweet. Oh! <laughs> You're not going to be able to okay. read that. I'll no. tell you what, I'm not doing this bit. I'm going inside, because there was no need for that. who claims he fell foul of the law because of this. Oh, oh. oh sorry, Dad. And no wonder. Rock and roll bikers, are you ready? Yeah. You will all go on my first whistle. Are you ready, Ian, at the end? I'm ready. Mark. Yeah. Brendan. Yes. Go! Mark, you off to well, a flyer? It, 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 we seem to have a flat battery. They've got a flat they battery on the Bosch. I'm afraid that's not taking part. Ian, how are you going there? Got a flat battery. you got a flat yeah. battery? <laughs> what about you here? <laughs> we, we, need, we do need kickstarts here, Johnny. What do you think we of that, gang? Kickstarts. Yeah, seriously, was that, do you think that was worth putting on television? We've got uh, Jill Apsey, who's from the RNIB, the Royal um, uh, International Institute for the Blind. <laughs> Hello. And uh, it's great to see you. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, You're watching the big breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't like being made a fool of. <laughs> uh, under no circumstances is that clip to be repay, replayed anywhere. <laughs> Someone's shouting in my ear now. Um, yes, shut up! <laughs> yeah. Be aware, be very aware. I'm trying to present the show, just shut up! <laughs> raise, awareness raise awareness levels to seven. Okay, here we go. Do this! <laughs> and, then, and then in the control box now, they're like frightened rabbits. <laughs> Is it alright for another little butcher? Oh, sure, carry on. You're in now, aren't you? Oh, gosh! Oh! Oh, I've just... I've just broken your kitchen rail. Oh, I do apologise. Look, I'll keep my hands to myself on the way round. <laughs> that man's a joke. It's a great pun. Sight for... Sorry, four eyes, sight for. Oh, you know what they've done? You see, that should go above there. Oh, and that's no. the sun there. I should say, sight for four oh, eyes. <laughs> Sight 
salt wound rub. <laughs> Mike McLean, when he met the uh, the suited and booted white T-shirt, Don Johnson. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm fine. I can say you've got a you've got a lovely tan there, my friend. <laughs> Very nice tan. I watched you the other evening actually in my hotel room. Oh, you serious? did? Yes, I did. Oh, good. And uh, I'm actually a big fan. Miami hotel, Vice. hotel room where? Uh, just down the road. Oh, here. The standard, yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to know that they're still playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you'll be chinging in there. Jennifer. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are we going that? We're just going to go. We're just waiting and then we're going to go live to the nation. Sure. So thank you very much indeed for hugging. <laughs> we're recording live. Thank you very much indeed for your time, sir. Welcome. Well, on the big breakfast here in England. The big breakfast. And a good morning to you. Thank you very much. Can I just say how brown you look? Have you got an allotment or have you been in the sun or is it because you're filming your series in, in Miami? No, no, no. What is it? I was just in Mexico with my family and uh, and uh, playing a little golf. And, uh, are you any good? I'm not bad. How bad are you? What's your handicap? Mm, like a four to six, depending on the day. <laughs> You little liar, you are good. No, no, that's about it. I don't lie. Listen, have you ever won an Oscar? No. No, uh, the closest I've ever come is I, I was nominated for an Emmy once, but um, it's always tomorrow. Can I just say that is scandalous, because I think Miami Vice, if it was made into a film, would wipe the board with the Oscars. <laughs> Bless your heart. Uh, is there any thought of making a movie, Miami Vice? I hear talk of it all the time, but, okay. um, but uh, we'll see, you know. What about having a young... Um, cheeky, up and coming northern policeman in it who comes from England to Miami and helps you solve a crime in Miami. That's a terrible idea. That wouldn't work at all. <laughs> I'd say that as a no then. <laughs> well, we'll have to look at your reel. You're not going to get a chance. Okay. Thank you. How long? Uh, there you go. That was sorry, sorry, a bit, a bit late there, viewers. But that was me there with Don Johnson, and this is all the action from last night. And look who I've got. Are you Actually, can I just? Yes, yeah, we're live. Can just show? Look who we've got right over there. We've got Miss Sharon Stone. Nope, she's chatting to Germ TV. She's chatting to Germ TV, which is bang out of order. But listen, this night has been a night of a thousand stars, and if you've missed it... ...be Puff Daddy, so P Diddy is slightly Boom, more important stop, than that. Stop, stop! Gotta go to LA! Here's Hugh Jackman! <laughs> Here's Hugh Jackman with uh, Mike McLean! Hello, Thank you, Richard. Well, it is definitely all now. happening here. Uh, right next to me is Hugh Jackman. He presented an award tonight. Uh, he's just chatting to one of his fellow Aussie colleagues here, just there he is there. And hopefully I can get a chat to him now. He is going to be in the X-Men 2, which if you've seen the first one, it's very, very good. And hopefully the second one's going to be even better. So we're actually live now. This is Deb. She's telling him that we're live now. Just tell him we're live, love. Tell him we're live. Just don't chat. Tell him we're live. So you see there, it's a little bit, a bit bold. There, but my, my key yes, Richard. Richard. Richard, my key. Uh, obviously, we haven't been with you the whole morning. I don't know what else has been happening. For example, has anyone been rude to you this morning as you've been waiting there on that red carpet? You know, Richard, nobody's been rude to me. Here's Hugh now. Hugh Jones, excuse Richard. We're going live to Britain now. How are you, sir? What time is it? Well, in Britain, it's probably, it's probably 25 to 9 because we go off air at 9. Oh, oh it's yeah, 8.32. I'm sorry. Mate. You presented an award for tonight for the first yeah, time. Man. Nervous or...? You know, I wasn't. It was a bit of a doddle, but I had, like, a sentence to say. It wasn't that bad. And it's the nominees that are... as well, for you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm well, short-sighted. Well, I had to learn honest, it. It was all an odds of Q, so you didn't yeah. have to learn anything, did you? It's not that tough, Listen, is it? you're going to be in the X-Men too. Yeah, when mate. does that start? Uh, about a month, we start shooting. Okay. Maybe a month or two. Okay, and what about the goodie bag tonight? Did you get a goodie bag awesome. as well? It what did you get? Awesome. Tell, tell the viewers in England what you got in the no, goodie bag. No, because I've got some mates back there. We, we're yeah. flying back home on Monday. They're going to say, give me that bloody chair. Give me that bed. Give me that watch. And you got, so you I'm got a watch, it home. You I'm got a chair. You got a mattress. I've got facials for the next 18 years of my life, I think. Well, they'll come in Massages. Hand, I've got a meditation chair. I'll give that to you. you oh. That's for you, man. You are my main man. Because I know you need a new one. Well, listen, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Right, Thank pal. you very much indeed. See you, there you go, it's all happening. And earlier on, Richard, get this. I chatted to the lady that has to be very careful when she crosses her legs. I think you know her main views. It was the one and only Sharon Stone. Check this out. Well, Richard, look who we've got. Uh, the one and only Miss Sharon Stone. Miss Stone, welcome to the Big Breakfast. Hello, this is my husband, Phil Bryce. Nice to meet you, Phil. I'm Squeaky McLean. Great name. What are you laughing at? Squeaky Clean. 
What are you laughing at? Hello, nothing. It's just a name, you know. You know you've got Sharon Stone, you, your name. And I'm just... <laughs> you presented the award tonight. Yes, I did, Best oh. Foreign Film. What is that like? What does it feel like when you go up there and present an award? You know, it's just wonderful because you know when you hand someone the Oscar, you're making their dream come true, so what's better than that? No, you're absolutely right, because I remember when I got awarded the Young Magician of the Year way back in England. I see. And, and I was very excited. Well, you know, I won with my mom the mother-daughter bowling tournament when I was 14, <laughs> so I kind of know how you feel. Well, I won a Novel and Ease competition right, at right, a holiday right. park this in England. I see, I see. This competition is getting yeah, out it's of over. Good. But it has been a good night tonight, though, hasn't it? It's been a lovely evening, and the night is young. Is there any points of the evening that you thought, oh, that's a bit ropey? Bit what? Ropey. Bit what? Ropey. I don't know what the hell you're talking it about. It means not as good, you know. Speak English. Well, I'm speaking English, it's just the accent, you see. It is. It's, is it, it's, 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 no, there's a part It's dodgy. It, it's, it's dodgy, and I don't know what you're saying. That's a lovely Welsh accent. Thank you. Uh, no, is there a bit of the evening where you thought, oh, that's not very good? Because there, um, there must be one. I kind of loved it all, you know. Everybody says that, though. Well, you know, I get to go to the Oscars. I can't complain. Say Paul McCartney. I like Paul McCartney. I mean, say you like Paul McCartney. I, we got to meet Paul McCartney. Is that the first time you... Did you get your, get your photograph taken? Were. Were. No. It's always nice to have on the mantelpiece. It would have been, but we, we got to say hi. We met, like, one of the Beatles. Well, he's obviously a big fan of yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed for your time. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Nice to meet you. I actually won another competition, but I won't go into that. There you go, Sharon Stone and her husband. It's all happening here. And there you go. That was me with Sharon Stone. Boy, if my probation officer could see me now. Anyway, here's Jasmine Lawson with the Big Breakfast News and weather. Lisa, I'm sorry. Dropped again. Uh, we've got to go live to Mike McLean. I think he's with Baz Luhrmann. Mike! Thank you, Richard. That is right. I'm here with Baz Lohman, his good lady wife. Uh, sorry, Lisa, for dropping you, but can I say congratulations oh, to you? Thank you. Well done. Mm -hmm. Two, one cheek, one, one for each yeah. of the Oscars. We're the Oscar bearers. You are. Oh, we just carry the Oscar bearers. Well, it's we nice that you are doing this, though, isn't it? Carrying the bit. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's all I've been doing all my life. Now. <laughs> Anything you want now, dear? <laughs> are, they, are they biting down to you now? My, my Wait, not enough. Please. Not enough. No, not enough. We, please, dear, come we're on the so set. And for many they years. sort of. But now we're they right. Have to have to shut life. up. Sorry, go on. <laughs> they touch them and get they them touch all dirty. What? My Oscars. Oh, the Oscars, you had me worried. And then. I just. <laughs> no, we, well, they were I'm doing. Uh, I'm not going to go into it. Listen, it must be a great night. It's a, done, uh, year. it's a great night for you, though, oh, isn't it? So... Beating your husband. <laughs> I don't see it that way. Yeah. Oh, does she? You're getting something you want to tell? I think my husband gave me a leg up on the stage tonight. Did he? We're <laughs> lucky. Metaphorically speaking. I beg your pardon. This is, I'm heckled all consistently. I know, I know, I know. Have you had a um, champagne, have you? <laughs> <laughs> um, you directed Moulin Rouge. I Did you mean, think for one moment it's going to win something? You know, uh, we, yes should no? we should probably not have even been there to be nominated for eight Academy Awards. First musical in 20 years, we were happy with that. To have two academies for production design is wonderful. And anything else, you know. What's next for you then? I'm doing La Boheme the Opera in New York City. Okay. And then I disappear into the wilderness to find a reason to make something else. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed for your time. Nice By the way, I'm going to get it on DVD because I haven't seen it yet. Uh -huh. Which is the best commentary? Uh, well, don't go near the writer's commentary, it's boring. That's okay. very boring. Is it? He's writer's the writer's very boring. Okay, well, listen, thank you very much. And congratulations thank to you once thank again. You so All the best. Much. Well, there you go. It's happening here, but now it's time to go over to Lisa Rogers, who I believe is in a video somewhere in uh, Warsaw. I, I think it's Warsaw, I may be wrong, but wherever it is, it isn't as exciting as here. Over to you, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot, Squeaky. You may be with all the...